Mm -hmm. right. You're on the VR chat. You never come to VR chat. I know. Hey, that's because I've uh, just. Hello. Corey, we met at uh, MFS last year. I was the big white and black fluffy fox. That's the one. Yeah, I, I recognize the voice. Yeah. It was lovely to meet you. Oh, well, thank you. I, I really I really had a lot of fun. I was really happy I got to meet you, too. Oh, thank you very much. How about you two just. Mwah, mwah. You see, you both kissed. Well, that happened. Come on, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. By the way, I re I watch both I your furry content and your racing content, and you're very talented. Oh, thank you very much. Here, let me give you a kiss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it really is. Oh, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> can, can I tell a story? Of course. Story time. I like model trains, and I'm a member of a, a model train club. And the way we have our layout is that we can uh, take it down and take it, uh, put a new one up uh, everywhere, so it's on modules. And at one point, we were at a exhibition in a technology museum. We got told that one of the princes from the Danish royal family was going to visit with his wife and his two youngest kids. Oh, that's cool. No official uh, anything. It was, they were just there as a civilian. And, uh, the day went on, everything was good, and I just put up a brand new train that I got, got it ready to drive, and I was going over to get the uh, controller for it. Then I see a little boy looking very interested in our layout and our train, so I, think, well, I thought to myself, well, he can have a, a good experience, and I asked him, do you want to drive a train? And his dad <laughs> said yes, and then I told him, yeah, just go around here and get in, in, uh, in the back, and then I gonna tell you what to do when they get behind the layout i take a proper look at the dad which turned out to be the prince <laughs> wow I, I literally got what am i gonna do here <laughs> we're on video oh hello you are absurdly <laughs> cute no lies and slander <laughs> this is true <laughs> Oh, Spack Jarrow's here. Yeah, Spack Jarrow. I just see Jack Sparrow. I'm who I am. I'm actually Shea Beta. I'm actually looking like him as well. It's really funny. I like it. Ow! Yes, yeah. Who is him? Shut up, mate. It's even funnier watching this on Quest. Cause he's not actually Jack Sparrow to me. He's an anime girl. What? I'm seeing an anime girl acting like, acting like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> I just see this anime girl wearing like some like. It's just this anime. It's just this anime girl in like this tight corset and everything, <laughs> like stumbling around. Someone's just got to edit the intro to Pirates of the Caribbean of Jack Sparrow coming into shore but holding a Daki Makara. <laughs> <laughs> what? You! Biscuit! <laughs> It's been so long. I'm back, baby. I'm back. I've had a long, long break. This guy told stories that was not appropriate for YouTube. No, it was monetized immediately. Excuse me, but he has a jar of dirt. Hey, you start singing that, and I'll I'll start implementing the uh, the Russian bass line. Who wants a jar of dirt? Three, two, one. <laughs> that that is uh, a piece of art. By the way, how, how bad is the AC in the background? Pretty bad. I have actually a quick story uh, to tell, and it's actually from the day we first met, Lanky. Can you not look like get that close to me and look up at me like that? It's like it's like that me it's like that meme of like what what you see versus what she sees. <laughs> well, the, the thing is with this avatar is that when it when it looks up, it has such a limited range that it looks like it's just looking at your dick. Yeah. See if I can survive in this heat. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just occurred to me we're doing this in the middle of summer and That's we're all dying. Amazing. Uh, you may remember the first time we ever made a VR chat story time, and Lanky mm -hmm. told us the story of how he got mm -hmm. his penis pierced, and it went horribly wrong. So, as some people might not know, uh, except everyone that stood around me, uh, I was high on LSD when we were doing that video. It was a great time, had a really good day. 
I've never seen Herbert do that. <laughs> <laughs> Before I came online, because how you take LSD, um, basically you start in the morning and it lasts from like 10 to 12 hours and you, you, you basically, you go all day and you're high as anything. It's not dangerous um, as long as you've got like a trip sitter with you and you're not like doing stupidly high doses on your first uh, trip. It's all good. It's, it, it's no damage uh, to you whatsoever. No one has ever died from LSD. Um, so I'm having a really good trip during the day. And I decided that I wanted to go and get some alcohol from the, the corner store. Uh, which was just about like a two minute walk away from my house. I had a friend over at the time who supplied me with the, the LSD and he told us like there's just a few simple rules when you have LSD. Switch off your phone, don't contact anybody, stay inside, enjoy yourself. And I was actually feeling pretty well controlled at this point. It was like two o'clock in the afternoon and I decided oh yeah I want to go and get some alcohol because they had went and I thought I fancy some myself and they told me hey you're actually acting pretty normal. It's pretty awesome. You go and do whatever you like. I get my jacket on, get myself looking pretty nice, even though I'm just going to the corner store. And I start making my way up. This is like in the middle of winter, by the way. So the sun is starting to set at like two o'clock. So the sky looks beautiful, especially when you're high on this stuff. It looks absolutely incredible. And I'm just taking it all in and enjoying myself just walking up to the flipping corner store. But at the same time, I've got to act normal because if someone suspects something, it's a, it's a bit of a risk. So I get into the store, I go and basically just get tons of beer and cider and stuff like that. And I place it on the counter and the, the guy the guy behind the counter, uh, I, I knew pretty well. He, he was like a World of Warcraft fan and he looks like the typical gamer. So I have a bit crack with him here and there. And he's like, oh, would you like a bag for all of this stuff? And I'm yeah, 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 please. And I'm, I feel like I'm acting pretty normal. And so I tie up the bag and I just pick it up and I go on my way. Perfectly normal. And then come home, uh, I get onto VR chat and we do that VR chat story. And then... Fast forward about three days, four days later, the trip has completely ended. Um, it ends when you pretty much go to sleep. It's very difficult to sleep, by the way, when you're on LSD. And uh, I decide I've drank all my beer, I've drank all my cider. I'm feeling a bit, I'm feeling a bit thirsty. So I go back up to the corner store again. Uh, I've got something in mind. I'm probably going to get myself a four pack of Guinness, you know, manly stuff. And I walk in, and same guy behind the counter, have a bit crack with him about games. I get my usual stuff, get the beer, all that. I place it on the counter, and he says to me, By the way, did you have a good time on Monday night? And I'm like, yeah, how, how, I, I had a really good time. It's like, what were you on? And I, just, my heart sunk right there. Like, crap, he knows. Red. Yeah. I'm like, I wasn't on anything. It's like, mate, this is Plymouth. I've seen a lot worse coming here. It was just kind. Of, it was kind. Of, it was kind of funny. <clears throat> it was kind of funny. I'm like, oh goodness, what did I do? So basically, what he does is he takes me in the back where the CCTV cameras are. are. And at the point that I'm feeling like I'm acting normal, he fast forwards to the point where he, I, like, he puts all the beer in the bag, and that. And I pay my money. And I decide to try and tie the bag up. I swear, I spent 20 minutes trying to tie the bag up. Just so I could pick it up and leave it out. Of I'm stood there, just like looking at it going, Plastic bag. Plastic bag. Just trying to tie this thing in a knot. And I cannot do it. And I, the, the clip is like literally like 15 minutes long. And... Oh my god. I'm stood there, just trying to get this plastic bag in. And he's like, yeah, that's how I knew you were on something, man. I'm like, I cannot tell Rico or Sky about this. But luckily, I don't live there anymore, so I can tell this story now. <laughs> I, I, I saw myself high as a kite, trying to tie a plastic bag full of beer. And I couldn't do it. It sounds like a normal day for you. <laughs> so, so, how is your penis? I think you can see the results right here. <laughs> He's aged horribly. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the way this is put to me, custom VR chat avatars are like first suit NFTs, to be honest. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. I will so, be getting VR that. later in the year, but that's like a, it's like not a priority Sweet. right now. Uh, Even nerd. Oh. Look at the bean. That's a chicken. What? A chicken. Yay! Mine. No, no, yeet. You can't have my chicken. I <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. You are so entertained by it's this. It's so great. It's a bouncy ball. Yeet. Except it's a chicken. Yeah. It's a bouncy chicken. Bounce. bounce chi <gasps> it went outside. <gasps> I dropped it. It went off. <laughs> Goodbye, chicken. We lost the chicken. <laughs>